Great ball striking is as simple as remembering the letter K. Oh, that feels so good. Thinking about the letter K will change everything in your golf swing. It will get you hitting the ball consistently, powerfully, and you'll be playing the best golf of your life. The letter K is this. When I get to the top of my backswing, you'll see that I've got a straight front side and I've got that K-shaped trail side. And this is because my weight is on the front leg during the golf swing, which is key for consistent contact. Keeping my weight forward allows me to hit ball first, take a divot after every single time. It's a very centered golf swing. Another thing that happens when you get this K shape, your hips turn more and your shoulders turn more. So by focusing on getting a K, I can create more power with a ton less effort. And plus, it's very body friendly. You'll play golf the rest of your life pain-free focusing on getting a K in your swing or a backwards K if you're a right-handed player. I've got this stick here to show you how your body should move in the golf swing. You should place the stick in the ground where it's in line with your hips and it's behind me just slightly, kind of like this. We're not going to touch the stick. Most amateur golfers struggle with swaying. So you'll end up running into the stick. You'll end up losing your K. That's a big problem. You don't want to lose the K. You know K is needed for great ball striking. Golfers on TV too, look for the K. You're going to see more of this. You'll never see a sway. Most golfers will sway because they're not turning their hips. They're keeping this leg flexed. And you're breaking up your K. You end up breaking up your arms too. So it doesn't look like a powerful golf swing. You're not storing any power. To do the opposite, to get the K, you need one thing first, and that's weight forward. So I'm setting a K here at setup. As I swing, I want to keep the K intact. To top of backswing, and even to downswing, you'll still see that this front side, though it's moved a little bit more forward, I still got that K shape, and I'm getting extension in my body. It's powerful, very powerful. So I set the weight forward first and I just focus on keeping it there and keeping my head in place throughout the swing. I will strike the ground repeatedly in the same spot. Ball divot, ball divot, ball divot. And it works every time you do it. This is not a gimmick, this is not magic. There's no secrets to good golf, there's no secrets. These things will happen. Wait forward, contact point is here. Arm straight, contact point, always in front of the ball. Head in place, I don't move my contact point. Look at that, that's awesome. Isn't that great? You don't have to think a million different things. You just gotta set the weight forward. Keep your head in place, keep the lead arm straight, set the K, keep the K. So with this stick here, I wanna make sure that I'm never touching it. And for a lot of you, it might feel like you're, you're going this way, and that's okay. It's okay, get my drift there. So I'd set the K, and I even focus on going more forward with the K. And I will strike it powerful. I barely touched that ball. Let's see what flight scope said. Okay, I swung at 75 miles an hour. I just barely tapped it. Let's try a full one without, without even trying to swing hard. It's a good visual. Setting the K, keep the K. 60% swing. Not a whole lot of effort there. I definitely felt a lot more speed. 95.4 club head speed. Some of you will say, Tom, that's a reverse pivot. You can't play good golf with a reverse pivot. It's not a reverse pivot. You gotta get this out of your head. Why is it not a reverse pivot? Because there's nothing reversing. Weight's forward, weight moves more forward, weight moves more forward. It's all just that way. And if you wanna call it reverse, reverse pivot, I really don't care because the results are awesome. So who cares? Go back to your world of shifting and lifting and being miserable. For those of you who want to play great golf, we set the K. We envision that we keep the K. And I will strike the ball well. It has to happen. That one felt good. Yep, 95.6 mile hour club head speed again. You can't have any club head speed with the weight forward. How many times do I hear that comment? You're not athletic. Who really cares? I know many of you, 99% of you, get it because you're playing excellent golf with the K shape. Mm, you can hear it. It's like a air cannon. I just tapping the ball. I'm just tapping it. Just tapping it. 
95.9 club head speed with just a dink seven iron. I'm not even trying to hit it hard because I'm loading all the power sources that exist in the K. Let's go for a big kahuna. Let's load this one up, big K. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Just adding more arcs, more hips, more K. Oh yeah, 96, 96.3, 96.3, 174.4 carry into a stiff breeze. That's great. Plenty of club head speed there without trying too hard. That was like an 80% swing. So you should focus on your hips doing a lateral movement towards a target in the backswing. Sounds crazy, I know. Everything you've been told in your whole life has been to shift your weight back, but you don't need to do that. Shifting your weight back shifts your contact point. And it's not even weight anyway. When people say they're shifting weight, they're really shifting pressure. So they say the pressure shift to the right side because nobody's shifting weight. If I shift my center of mass, that's a weight shift. Pressure shift, big difference between the two. Think about an outfielder ready to get a ball. So the ball's going this way. I gotta go run this way, a sprint. So where's my weight? Well, my weight's centered right now. I'm gonna sprint towards that ball. I pressure shift off the right, but my weight's here now. That's the easiest way to think about it. My weight's not back, it's pressure. We're trying to stay centered with the K. And that ball is just crushing it and your body will love you too. I can't tell you how many golfers come into my online golf school, Segudo.golf, and they say, oh man, you know, I'm like 65, 70 years old, my back hurts, my knee hurts. I'm used to flexing my leg, I'm used to lifting my arms and keeping it flexed and restricting my body. And then when they go through the program, they're learning how to open up the body. So you, you stop keeping all the resistance in your swing, you keep the weight forward and you, you allow the body to turn and then you feel like you're swinging in a hot tub. It feels so easy and effortless. Like that movie Titanic. Oh, that whole scene. And, and then they'll say, like uh, recently, here was a guy, disabled veteran, he couldn't play golf at all. And then he just recently played 72, he played 90 holes of golf. So he had four rounds plus a practice round on his buddy's trip. Before that, he could barely play nine. And after going through the school program, he's still in it. He's playing golf without pain. I mean, think about the joy there. And it's better golf, much better golf. He's up in the high 70s, low 80s now. He came down from the 90s. He came from not even playing, now he's playing and having a great time. So that's what's going on in that program. Fun. Camera, please stay up, don't fall over. I need you. This wind is brutal. Okay, set the K. Think about the K. Think about the K. Barely swinging. That is awesome. You will be a great ball striker with the K shape. I love that. I love that. That never gets old. We got some more golf balls in this bucket. Da, 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 da. It's like music. This is how you should practice it too. You should just do some slow swings like this. I'm moving my hips towards a target. Finish with my weight forward. It doesn't happen overnight. You know, it's gonna be weird. But in my seguro.golf online golf school, there's a whole program step by step. You'll just work through it. You'll get comfortable with it as you do it. It's pretty repeatable. That was my least favorite one out of all of those. Let's do another one. Let's make up for it. Oh my goodness, Tom, you hit just slightly behind that. Don't ever do that again. There we go. I will not chunk behind the ball. Write that on the board a million times. I will set the K, yes. I will keep the K, yes. Way forward, yes. Good. Okay. Wow. 
And we got these nice divot patches too. From playing great golf with the K. Set your K and your ball striking is gonna be more than okay. It's gonna be brilliant. You're gonna love it. Join Segudo.golf. It's where you can play the best golf of your life now. Over 4,000 members, happy members playing the best golf of their life. Jump in there. What are you waiting for? Life's far too short to be wallowing around in misery. You could be playing the best golf of your life. You get one life, one chance to strike it good. Don't waste it. Let's do it right now. I'll see you in a future episode.